Hi, this is Scoggett, and uh, today what I'm going to be making is I'm going to be making some fried burritos. Uh, these are very simple to make, real easy to make, and uh, they're, they're, they're really good too if you, if you uh, make them the way I'm going to show you. And what I'm going to do is deep fry them. Now what I've got, I was down to the Walmart today, and I got some of uh, these frozen uh, El, uh, El Monterey bean and beef burritos. And if you ever get these, uh, it says the way to cook, cooking methods is microwave. And it also says in the oven, microwave in the oven. Well, you, you can deep fry them too. They just didn't put that on there, which I'm going to show you uh, uh, how, it's, how it's done. Uh, me and one of my co-workers today was discussing it, and uh, we got talking about burritos, and he said... Uh, you know, I, I like the burritos, but you can't deep fry these. So I told him, I said, well, I deep fry them all the time. And he, and he said, well, he said, uh, we haven't even attempted it because we followed the directions and we either heat them in the microwave or uh, bake them in the oven. But he said, I sure would like, uh, you know, have them deep fried. So I told him, I said, you can do it. So I, I put this uh, video together. Uh, for that purpose to show that you can deep fry these that that you don't have to just go by what they say on the package here because if you go by that then then you'll either bake them in the oven or make them in the microwave but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll show you uh, how these works what I've got over here I've got my deep fryer and I've got it all set up uh, to deep fry these. What, I, what I'll do is I've got a couple of burritos I'm going to drop in here. Then we're just going to lower them in the water here. I mean, uh, excuse me. Lower them in the oil here. We're just going to go ahead and let them fry. And you want to let these fry. I usually let these fry about five minutes. Uh, anywhere from five to six minutes. And I can tell by looking at them when they're done. Uh, I've, I've been making these so long that, that it's, just, it's just natural for me to, to know, know when they're done just by looking at them. And I, I've uh, yet to fail and have, have the uh, inside where it's cold. It's always cooked th all the way through, and uh, and uh, they're they're really good if you fry them like this. And I I prefer prefer them uh, fried over uh, baked in the oven or microwave. Go ahead and take a little skimmer out here. This this was off of a fry daddy, by the way. I just kept it because I use it all the time. I like this little device here. And you just let it fry. And you want to fry these. I, I usually fry them like at 375 degrees. Uh, you can fry them at 350 if you like. But uh, 375 is what I always uh, fry them at. And something else whenever you uh, get the frying oil. The best oil to use for frying is uh, peanut oil. Uh, I have used cottonseed. But peanut oil they uh, is the best. I mean... Uh, you, you can't go wrong with peanut oil and fries perfect so if you're having trouble frying like uh, frying your uh, food uh, say you're uh, using vegetable oil, canola or some other type of oil then that's the reason why peanut is the one you need to use for deep frying it is the best and and uh, I've been using it uh, for years and uh, it just it works out just fine just go ahead and let these fry up. This little thing has a little timer on here on my fryer also where I can set it for how many minutes I want. But like I say, I just tell by looking uh, whenever they're done. And I'll go ahead and cut one open whenever we get it fried up so I can show you how the uh, inside looks and everything on these.
and these are frozen solid. Uh, like I said, I got them, I was over to the Walmart and got them and uh, just got home with them, so they're still uh, frozen all the way through, and that's why they should be. I found it's uh, easier to make these when they're frozen than when they're thawed. Uh, when they're frozen, they just uh, seem to work a whole lot better. They seem to fry uh, better for some reason. So you don't have to thaw them out or nothing. And you want to fry these till when they're uh, golden brown to a golden brown color. And uh, that's what we're shooting at right now. And my oil is getting kind of dark. Uh, I've noticed it just looking at it now, so I'm going to have to change it out. And uh, like I say, you use peanut oil whenever you fry. And it co comes in like a container like this. This is gallon uh, size, and, and it will uh, fill this fryer. Uh, this is all you need is just one gallon for this fryer. If you have a fry daddy or some other type, uh, it might take a, a half of it or uh, maybe a little more. These are starting to look pretty good now. They're almost ready. And see if you notice also, uh, the burritos are not coming apart. <coughs> Excuse me, they're not coming apart or anything in the in the oil. Uh, they're staying uh, wrapped. And every time I fry them, they come out like that. They come out wrapped and uh, just perfect. These are looking pretty good. About another minute, and then we're going to pull them, uh, pull them out, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut one and show you how how it looks here. And you just fry them till they're like, say, a golden brown. Usually about five minutes. I think they're about ready now. And as you can see, uh, uh, they stay together and everything, so you don't have any anything coming out of the. Uh, I went ahead and turned it over there, but you don't have anything coming out of the uh, uh, in the fryer. In other words, the burrito's not busting or nothing. I go over here. We'll see if see if I can go ahead and show you how they come out. See, they come out they come out perfect. I mean, they're not busted up or nothing. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, cut one open. And as you can see, the inside is is fully cooked. Then the inside is fully cooked and uh, it's uh, ready to eat. These are hot too. And I'm fixing to eat them. Uh, I'm, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, and check out my channel. I have more interesting videos on it. And uh, I just wanted to kind of clear that up with uh, the El Monterey uh, directions. 
on, on the package where they don't say anything about deep frying. It only gives the two methods of frying these burritos, but you can go ahead and uh, uh, deep fry them, as I have shown. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. Leave a comment whether you like or, or don't like the video. Uh, and be sure and sh check out my channel. I have a lot more videos on it, and uh, I'll keep them videos coming. And if anybody out there has a, a dish what they'd like to see me uh, make or uh, an idea for me to make something, then be sure and uh, send me a comment, uh, and I'll get it, get it on there. Uh, I haven't found anything yet that I haven't been able to make. So uh, that's, that's why I say if you want to see me make something, and maybe your favorite dish or whatever. Uh, appreciate you watching the video, and uh, y'all take care.